you're watching Minimation World TV. Please like, share and subscribe for more fun adventures. Welcome back, Mini Fans. Are you ready to join Seraphim and Kurt for another amazing adventure? Today, they're solving a big mystery, the Moog. Why does it look different every night? Stick around to find out. Let's go. Hello there, Mini Fams. Kurt, come quick. The moon looks amazing tonight. It's so big and round, like a glowing ball in the sky. Hey there, Mini Fams. Good to see you. Let me see, Seraphim. You've been staring through that telescope all evening. What's caught your eye this time? It's the moon. It's perfectly round tonight, but last week it wasn't. It was just a tiny sliver. Why does it keep changing like that? The moon doesn't actually change shape. It just looks different because of how sunlight hits it as it moves around Earth. Let's sit down and I'll explain. So, it's sunlight? But how does that work? Why does it sometimes look full, and other times, it disappears altogether? The moon orbits Earth, and as it moves, the sun lights up different parts of it. Sometimes, we see the whole lit up side. That's a full moon. Other times, we see just a part of it, or none at all, depending on where it is in its orbit. Oh, I think I get it. It's like the moon is playing hide-and-seek, showing us different sides of itself. That's the spirit, Seraphim. Instead of just talking about it, why don't we use the cosmic transporter and visit the moon ourselves? Yes, let's do it. I've always wanted to walk on the moon. Wow, Kurt, look at all the stars. They're everywhere, like tiny sparkles in the biggest night sky ever. And the moon, it's getting bigger and bigger. Space is incredible, isn't it? And there's Earth. Doesn't it look small from here? Like a little blue marble floating in the dark. It's so cool. I didn't know Earth would look so tiny, but the moon, it looks so close now. I can't wait to land and explore. The spaceship lands gently on the moon's surface. Seraphim and Kurt step out, their boots crunching on the dusty ground. Above them, Earth shines like a jewel in the black sky. So, let's start with the new moon. This happens when the moon is between the Earth and the Sun. The side of the moon facing us is in complete darkness because the Sun's light is blocked by the moon. We can't see it at all. It's in complete shadow, like the moon is playing hide-and-seek. So the moon is up there, but we can't see it? How does it hide if it's up in the sky? Exactly. The moon is still up there in the sky. But during the new moon phase, the side of the moon that faces Earth is completely in shadow. This happens because the moon is positioned between the Earth and the sun. The sunlight hits the side of the moon that we can't see from our vantage point leaving the side facing us dark and invisible. It's like when someone stands directly in front of a flashlight. Their body blocks the light, casting a shadow. The moon is still present, quietly orbiting Earth, but it's as if it's taking a break from the spotlight, keeping its glowing face hidden for now. It's like the start of a magic trick. The big reveal is coming soon. So it's like the moon's taking a nap? It just needs time before it shows itself again? Exactly. It's like the moon is taking a break. After the new moon, the moon slowly starts to wake up. That's when we get the waxing crescent phase. Now the waxing crescent phase begins. The word waxing means growing. So this is the time when the moon starts to show more of its illuminated side to us. At this stage, we only see a small, curved sliver of light. A delicate crescent that looks just like the thin edge of a pizza slice or a smile drawn in the sky. It's as though the moon is waking up from its long nap, stretching and yawning as it slowly reveals its bright side. 
Each night during this phase, the crescent grows a little bigger, as if the moon is shyly stepping back into the spotlight, eager to dazzle us once again. Like when you leave a tiny piece of pizza behind and then take a little more? The moon's slowly coming back into the light, right? Exactly. The moon's stretching after its nap and showing us just a little at first. Now, after the waxing crescent, we get to the first quarter. The first quarter is an exciting phase because it's when we see half of the moon beautifully illuminated while the other half remains in shadow. Imagine it as a perfect balance, half bright, half dark. But why is it called the first quarter when we see half of the moon? That's because it marks the point where the moon is one quarter of the way through its orbit around Earth, like reaching the first milestone in a journey. During this phase, the moon stands out clearly in the sky, glowing brilliantly on one side, as if it's showing off half of its face while keeping the rest a mystery. So, the moon looks like a perfect half circle now with one side bright and the other dark? Exactly. It's a perfect split. This is one of the key points in the moon's cycle where we get to see exactly half of it. Now we're heading to the waxing gibbous. During the waxing gibbous phase, the moon is almost fully illuminated with more than half of its surface glowing brightly, but it's not quite full yet. A small, shadowed portion remains, adding a touch of mystery. This phase represents the moon's gradual transformation as it grows brighter, night by night, steadily progressing toward the grand reveal of the full moon. It's like the moon is gearing up for its big moment. It's like the moon is smiling more and more, showing its bright face. Exactly. It's like the moon is getting ready to put on its big show, and then we reach the full moon. The full moon is the grand finale of the moon's journey through its phases. This is when the sun shines directly on the entire face of the moon, making it glow brilliantly in the night sky like a giant, radiant light bulb. The moon is fully illuminated, showing off all its features in stunning detail. It's as if the moon is wide awake, proudly revealing its complete self and lighting up the world below with its breathtaking glow. It's so big, bright, and beautiful. It's like the moon is putting on its best show, proudly displaying every detail of its glowing surface. It feels like it's saying, look at me, everyone, as it lights up the night sky in all its shining glory. That's right. The full moon is the peak of the moon's cycle. It's at its brightest and most beautiful. And it's like the moon is saying, look at me, I'm fully awake. Next, we move to the waning gibbous phase, where the moon begins its gradual retreat from full brightness. Most of its surface is still glowing, but the light starts to fade from the right side. It's as if the moon is slowly dimming its lights, bit by bit, winding down its brilliant show and preparing for the next steps in its cycle. So, it's like the moon is slowly turning off its lights, one little piece at a time, as if it's getting ready to rest and take a break. Exactly. The waning gibbous is the start of the moon's gradual fade. After this, we move to the last quarter. The last quarter is the phase where the left side of the moon is illuminated and the right side fades into darkness. This is the opposite of the first quarter, showing us how the moon continues its journey through its cycle. At this point, the moon is more than halfway through its orbit around Earth, slowly winding down its glow. While it's not as bright as before, it's still lighting up part of the night sky, not ready to completely vanish just yet. It's a sign the cycle is nearing its end. So, the moon is switching sides like it's turning over to get comfortable? It's almost done with its cycle and getting ready to rest before starting over. Exactly. And then we reach the final phase, the waning crescent. The waning crescent 
is the final phase before the new moon. During this time, the moon appears as a thin, fading crescent. It's gradually shrinking, preparing to vanish completely and begin the cycle anew. The moon is like a performer backstage, quietly resting and conserving energy, getting ready for its next big reveal. As it shrinks, it's like a countdown to the start of another journey around Earth, where the show will begin again with the new moon. Wow. So the moon just keeps going, back and forth, like a never-ending dance around Earth. Each phase is part of its beautiful rhythmic journey, always changing and keeping us guessing. I hope you learn a lot from this journey, mini fans. It starts hidden in the new moon, then shows a sliver in the waxing crescent. At the first quarter, half is lit, growing brighter in the waxing gibbous, until it's fully glowing at the full moon. Then the light starts to fade in the waning gibbous, shrinks to half in the last quarter, and becomes a thin sliver during the waning crescent before disappearing again. The moon's constant dance is a beautiful, endless cycle. Now that Seraphim and Kurt have explored all the phases, they understand how the moon changes as it orbits Earth. Isn't it amazing? The moon's phases are like a never-ending dance, moving from one phase to the next. Thank you for joining Seraphim and Kurt on this epic journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting adventures.